When you pray, when you pray, pray for me. Silver and gold, I lay at your feet. Do you cry? Do you cry? Do you cry? Cry for me. Rise with the morning sun, cry with the rain and dew. Hold me like you never hold me. Touch me like you never touch me. When I go, when I go, when I go, cry for me. Memories will arise and shine. Sorrow in the deepest parts. Hold me like you never hear me. Touch me like. To woke up now, you know how it is. Work all day, sleep late, wake up early. I'm fine. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't be late. I won't. Okay. <laughs> I won't. Wish me luck. Good luck.
Your documents here point to the fact that you majored in the environmental sciences. Not so. Yes, sir. And you think that paper and classroom qualifications have adequately, with emphasis on the word adequately, prepared you for field work in our early rates? Well, ma, I believe that if I'm employed, that there will be some form of in-house training for me. And should we choose not to give you an in-house training yet, would you agree with me that that will make you redundant as a staff of this company? No, ma. Um, I presume that... Mr. Uh, Young, you're not allowed to presume or assume anything during an interview. I'm very clear. Yes, Which other notable play will the services of an environmental scientist be needed on the field or an oil company like this? Oil weeks, um, during drilling. Is it offshore or onshore? Both. Why? Well, to quickly provide solutions to, to, to the company in cases of uh, oil spillage and environmental damage. To, uh, Mr. Daniel Young, you must agree with me that your answers are uh, recited. They come straight from the class, university classrooms as a lack out of relevant experience. I, I graduated 11 years ago. Oh. Which makes it worse if you have not worked for 11 years? You not only have no experience, you actually may have forgotten all the literature based work courses you were taught in school. Not only that, your answers towards a field crisis situation shows that it's only curative, not preventive. I don't understand you, ma'am. Your profiling oil spillages offshore and onshore, you never talked about how you as an environmental scientist can offer professional advice to stop oil spillages. I need this job. How am I supposed to get the experience that you all are asking me for if you don't employ me in the first place? You, you, you attack me. You attack me. This is not an interview. It's a crucifixion. Oh. Is there something in my face you don't like? What is this about? Call the security. Call. There's no need to call the security because I'm out of here. Just take the job and eat it. This is not an interview. Scattering everything. I want to photocopy nothing. I will even carry the originals and burn them away. Interview didn't go well, did it? What are you doing at home? Huh? No customers at the bank. Hmm? How was your day? Yeah, the interview didn't go well. They're not going to give me the job. They said I don't have field experience. So I blew my top. And hit somebody again? No, I didn't hit anybody, Leo. I hit the table. And I told you, the guy I pushed at the, 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 the cement factory interview was a mistake. And I promised you it would never happen again. And I don't think it had happened. And you know anything I promise you, I stick to it. I know you adore me much more than anything that the good Lord himself has fashioned with his hands. Hmm? Thank you, Daniel. Oh, come on, Leo. Don't, don't be like this about this job thing. I'm going to sort it out. You know, I'm, go I'm going to get something. In fact, I'm, I'm even thinking of a, a complete line of business. You know, new line of business. I mean, look, 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 look at me. Leo. Ever since you met me, you've been like an angel to me. Since we started dating you, you picked me out of the streets. Put a decent roof over my head, buy me clothes, do everything for me, you know? It's okay. You know, you, you, you don't have to recount all the good things I do. I, 
I do it for love. I know. I just want to be able to buy my own stuff, you know? Buy you things that you like. You know? Just just have a chance to be able to not to to prove myself, not, not to be a bum to myself. You know? I, I, I just want to do something, you know. I I, I want to learn, you know. I want to learn and, 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 and start something. Just a loan that would, would, would make me start a small viable business that we can grow with. I, I've just come to the conclusion that after 11 years of, of not having anything that you can call a job, nobody's going to offer me a job. You know, yeah, so, so help me, get a loan for me and, 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 and we'll start a small viable business. No matter how small, I'll, I'll work it out and I'll pay every penny. Where do you want me to get it from? Your office. You work in the bank, Lil. Take a loan. I, I, I'll pay it all back. I will. Just a chance to, you know, to do something else. Nobody's gonna give me a job. It won't work out, you see. <laughs> Danny, I brought you here to this place. Where life is free and beautiful. Because I want to tell you something that may change our lives forever. Danny, I'm sick. Born with a hole in my heart. You know, for the past six years, I. I haven't. I haven't dated any man. You know, the last man that I loved, he left me when he found out about my heart condition. And I swore never to love again. So you came into my life and I fell in love with you. Remember last month when you asked me to marry? I knew I would have to tell you before anything happens. And now that you have told me? That's not all. Danny, it's very bad now. It's worse. It's so bad that I can't... I can't get around anymore. I can't move. Do you know why I cried yesterday when you asked me for a loan from the office? I cried because... There's no office anymore. The bank did a routine health check on all staff. And they found out that I was dying. Mm. Mm. And I don't have anything left. The work is gone. My health is gone. The only thing I have left is you. Danny, will you stay with me? This hole in the heart has a cure. Only an operation done abroad. How much? Your cost? <laughs> Five million naira. 
I don't have it, Danny. I've all my savings, all my money. I've been, I've been spending it all on, on, on temporary treatment, just to, just to keep me going. Danny, Danny. to death and she's got to die. So take a walk. Find another woman, another love. I can't. Tom, I, I came to you because you understand poverty, Tom. Because you've been there. You know, like me, you, you walked the streets, you pounded the streets for 11 years without a job. Well, before you miraculously made it and, and, and now you're living big. Tom, you can tell me anything, I'll take it, but don't tell me to leave the girl that has supported me since you started dating. Don't do that. Okay. My apologies. But I haven't got five million bucks to give out. I'm not exactly asking you to um give me five million naira. You know, I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, I, I need to know how you make money. Look at you. Uh, Tom, I'm, I'm, you don't have any visible means of business. You don't have a business address, but you live well. You, you live in the world. You don't have any brush with the law, no criminal activity, I can see, but the police is not harassing you. I, I, I want to help. I, I want to make money like you, Tom. Tell me how you do it. Help me. Hmm. You don't really want to hear that. I'm desperate, Tom. Anyway, 
There's a sweetheart on a Porsche car. She has a car I don't know about being Porsche. Okay. Just wait and meet me here by 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll take you out on business. Hmm? Uh, uh, really? Come on, eat up. I'm fine, really. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> You've not touched your meal. Come on, eat, eat. Come on. Go on. If every capable member of this family, nuclear and extended, contributes 50,000 naira, we will still not be able to make, uh, to raise 5 million naira in the next four or five months, according to your doctor's uh, report. Uh, which, according to the doctor's report, will be the best time to carry out the operation on you. Um, our family is not a large one, you know that. But nonetheless, as the only surviving uncle in the family, um, I have mandated that every civil servant will contribute 30,000 naira in every two months. And every businessman in this family will contribute 50,000 naira in every two months. Whatever we'll be able to raise, we'll put them together with the, the one you'll be able to raise too. Then we'll forge ahead. Thank you very much, Uncle. I'm so lucky to have a family like you. What are we doing? Hi, Daddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, Daddy, I'm back. Hey. Hey. Come, come and meet my family. This is my Uncle Stephen. Hello, sir. Welcome. My Auntie Rose and my only brother Jude. Hi Jude, how are you doing? Uncle, this is my fiance, Daniel. Oh, so you are the man I hear that is squatting in my niece's house, milking her dry of every cover she makes. Uncle, that is the most unfair thing to say to a man I just introduced to you as my fiance. But it's true. It is true. Have I not called you several times on this issue? Have I not called you several times concerning this matter? Have I not? Have I not? Lillian, my honey, we have honor in our family. When a man wishes to marry us, he comes with his own family and indicates his intention properly. My dear, it is not proper for you to go home with a wrapper you have not begged for and begin to wear and wash it. It will run out or wash out before you are ready to pay for it and make you not willing to pay for it at all. I will advise you to leave my list alone. Please. The worst is that this man is jobless. Now Lillian is sick. What has he done? Nothing. What can he do? Has he raised anything? Uncle, you're embarrassing me. You're not in me. I thought you came here because you were concerned about my health. What you're doing is killing me. You're worsening my case, Uncle, please. My health. My health. My health. What is a sick girl? What is a sick girl harboring a man in her house for? What are you having a lover in your house for? Let him leave your house. My friend, you leave the house. You leave the house. If you want to marry my sister, you are from that side. Danny, please just come inside, okay? I don't, I don't want to leave you. Please. Don't enter the house. Don't enter the house. Don't enter the house. Uncle, warn him. Don't enter the house. It's not your house. Better than enter the house. Danny. Danny, wait. Honey, darling, honey, darling, I'm obeying you like a lamb. You think he loves you. You don't know the guy is an opportunist. Am I not a man? Don't tell me how I behave. Everybody is telling you now you won't listen, Lilia. You won't listen. Uncle better advise her. Advise Lilia now. Okay, people should kill me. As 
long as this man remains in this house, I will not contribute a time of mine. Yes! Yes! One day I'll end up contributing to his feeding. The clothes he wears and the expensive perfumes he wears. Don't add more pains to your sickness. Do the right. We are telling you the truth, my daughter. Good morning, James. Lady Claudia is expecting us. This way, please. Wait here, find me. so much. <laughs> oh, James, ever so faithful. I wonder what would I would have done without him. So, <sighs> to this moment. Listen up a little. Don't you think you're a bit too hot? Don't you think that maybe we should take off this beautiful suit and tie? Make you feel more comfortable? I won't bite. Uh, uh, Make you feel more I know. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm fine. I mean nonsense. You're not alright, my sweetheart. I assure you, by the time you leave this house today, you would have been alright. Trust me. Um, Tom, <laughs> Tom, 
Yeah. So that you wanted me to supply um, some drinks for your <laughs> 60th birthday. <laughs> oh, Thomas, he's such a sweetheart. He lies at times to make me happy. Anything to make Lady Claudia happy is all right. Anyhow, I have other uses for you. Daniel is such a handsome man. Claudia, Lady Claudia, I'm, I'm sorry. I cannot take off your clothes. And um, I cannot take off mine as well. And if you don't mind, I would I'd like to be excused. You are excused. Well, thank you. It was nice meeting you. Famous, don't you ever, ever bring a rookie to my house again. Understand? country where nobody would give me a job for 11 years after a degree in political science. And you're proud to say it? Does it make it right? Fuck what's right! Tom, how, how, how do you live? How do you mean? How do you live with yourself? How do you cope with the persistent feeling of dirt and, and, and filth. How many hours, Tom, do you spend in the shower just scrubbing your body, scrubbing all the layers of sin in a bit to get rid of it? How many, Tom? Well, I choose to ignore your insults. I apologize to Lady Claudia on your behalf. She's expecting you again tomorrow. No. Damn. You have another chance to start making the money that will save Lillian's life. Or you can blow it again. The choice is yours. Tom, I'm out of here. Dan. When a woman is beautiful, she uses her beauty to open doors closed by a man. What's wrong with a handsome man using his good looks to loot the treasure of women? You're a very handsome man, Dan. Don't waste it.
Okay. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm fine now that you're back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I feel a lot worse than I did before you left this morning. Why? You didn't take your drugs? I couldn't reach them. I, I, I wasn't able to stand up. Lillian, that means you have not eaten all day as well? I wasn't able to go downstairs. You know, so I, I couldn't make the papa and the Quaker oats. Oh, God. All right. Let me go downstairs and get you the Quaker oats and get you drugs so you can... Mm -mm. I just drank a glass of Complan so I can take my drugs. Oh, God, Leo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, wait, how was your day now? What did Tom say? Well, I, I, I wouldn't say my day was exactly bad. Um, he took me to this place, made this associate of, of his, who is about 60 to 70 years old or something like that, maybe 65 or so. She's thinking of taking me as a personal assistant because she can no longer get around as much as, you know, she, she used to. Oh, that's the sweetest thing I've heard since I lost my job. <laughs> it's a miracle. It's good. Well, she hasn't taken me yet. Mm. But I, I'm, I'm sure the pay will be large. Don't worry. God will touch her heart and she will give you a job. And my family will see that you're a man. Sweetie, what's her name? I want to let, pray about it. Let, let me let me get your complaint first. Her name. Her name. Her name is um. Lady um Lady Claudia. Lady Claudia. Claudia, that's her name. Good. Okay. Let me get you. Sweetie, I want to change my room. I want to. Um, I want to move downstairs so I can move around because I, I don't want to have to climb up and down all the time because I think I'm getting weaker. Okay. You want to do it now? Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. All right. But the, the downstairs, the, the room, the, the air conditioner doesn't work. Yeah, I don't mind. I want to... You know, so I can at least get to the kitchen and... Yeah? Oh. Put your hands on my neck. Mm -hmm. You've lost You should take it easy on that. Mm -hmm. I like my men sober. Too much alcohol leaves the man breathless and panting for strength. That's not very good for a woman. <laughs> but I'll, I'll be all right. Like a man who can go all the way. Mm. Take me to where I want to be. <laughs> Daniel, you're a very fine man. My lady. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, Dan or Daniel will be fine. Oh, how boring. That is the most unromantic thing I ever heard a man say in years. You see, I'm an incurable romantic and a daydreamer. Do you blame me? Mm -mm. My late husband, bless his adorable soul, left me a very large estate and lots and lots and lots of money to last me another lifetime. Mm. 
So, what can I do? I travel around the whole world seeking adventure. Mm. Or I sit here dreaming, mm. fantasizing mm. of love, romance, mm. and lately I dream of you. Mm. That's nice. That's very nice. So, this pet me. What about Danny Boy? Yes, that's it. Danny Boy. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Danny Boy, it will be. I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. Undress me. Hmm? Undress me. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just put off the lights. Oh, oh Danny. My lady. Oh. Oh. Ready to go. Mm. My lady. Mm. Yes, yes. My lady. Yes. Is this all right? Yes, it is. Oh. My lady. Yes. Oh, my lady. Mm -hmm. Is this okay?
Me to start dressing like the personal assistant of a millionaire. It's for my wardrobe. Oh, God, this is so amazing. Yes. She's so kind. Yes, it shows that out there and that there is a God somewhere that knows exactly how much we need money right now in this house or the spirit of our lives. Honey, I am so happy. So, so happy. <laughs> I intend to save every penny of it because my biggest wish right now is to see you back on your feet again, well and strong, okay? Thank you so much, Danny. No, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. so I keep it. <laughs> You are all I dream, all I cry, all I talk now. You are all I pray. Tom, when she sleeps, I cry. Over how innocent she is. And how unfair it is that I'm selling my body to save her life. I cry over how lucky I am to have a girl like Lillian in my life. And how sweet it is that she's safe from the knowledge of the money I bring home every day and where it is from. Don't do that. Don't ever call me that name again. Easy. Don't. Easy. Easy. I offer my apologies. I never knew you objected to being called that. It is bad enough that I hear that name every day from Lady Claudia. That bloody name just reminds me of how much of a toy boy I am to her. Anyway, what I wanted to say is that a thorough survey of the phase of life will surely reveal a lot of reasons to cry. But are we going to keep on crying because we live in a world that swings between the poles of fairness and unfairness? No! Now let me ask you, how much have you saved? Why do you ask? Because Lady Claudia easily gets fed up with one man and begins to ask for another. So now that she's sweet in you and the cash is coming out, you better save all you can, man. Well, thank you very much for your advice. You're welcome. I'm saving. Good. Good. And remember, Tom, I am doing this for Lillian. Hmm. Everything I'm saving is going towards an account for her surgery. Good. Good. Meanwhile, I think we should expand your links. Mm. See, the last dot of the main stop of vision hangs out every Friday night at Michael's on the island. Dress to kill and be there by 9 p.m. tomorrow. I want you to meet her. <sighs> Come on, cheer up. Look, the ladies are there for us to meet. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no. Mm. Only a thief and dog man or a foolish man stays where he is not wanted. Danny, leave my sister. Leave my sister alone so that her family can come in and, and help her situation. You, you're worsening everything by continuing to live in her house and, and kindling the anger of the elderly members of the family against her. Leave her alone. Is it so difficult for you to do? It's a simple thing, Daniel. Leave my sister alone. Leave! Jude, quite frankly, I don't see how my staying with your sister 
stops you or any member of your family from contributing towards the operation of your sister. But I, I suppose yours is just a family of hard-hearted people who will rather put their ego first than the health of their own daughter. Up until now, none of you have contributed one dime towards the oppression. If I were in your shoes, Jude, I'd be lying down, covered with my own shame right now. Daniel, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you. Go ahead, insult me in my sister's house. Go ahead. Talk to me, tell me whatever you want in my sister's house. I don't blame you. I blame Lillian. I blame Lillian. I mean, she picked you up from the street, virtually from the goddess. She picked you up from the goddess, put food on your table, good food on your table, you know? Put it on your back, a roof over your head. So you, you go ahead and insult me, okay? But I've got a reminder for you, because I'm sure you've forgotten how, how hunger dealt with you in the past. I'm sure you've forgotten all that. Because I love your sister very much, I will not respond to all that insult. But I'm every inch a man, Jude. I'm listening. I have single-handedly, as I'm standing in front of you now, I have single-handedly saved up to 700,000 naira. I'm clapping for you, yes. But none of you, any member of your hard-hearted family, have contributed a dime. You all ought to be six feet under, buried with your shame. Daniel, you will hear from me. You will hear from me because when I'm ready, when I start singing, you will dance for me. You watch. Daniel, when I sing for you, when I sing, you will dance for me. My life, I believe in for you when you pray. I heard everything. You will see me. I'm sorry for what they're putting me through. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. You know what I'm worried about? What? You. I'm worried about you letting all of this affect your health. That's what I'm worried about, not what they're saying. Hmm? Baby, please. No matter what they say to you, mm. please, you never leave me. Please. Leo, I will never leave you. I will never leave you, okay? You know why? Because you're my world. You're, you're everything I'm doing.
buy an apple and bacardi. That's something you want. Put the word over here in a moment, okay? Just go down. Go cool, cool. Go cool. Go cool. Go Give me it. So, thank you. Just enjoy, okay? Put yourself in the mood. So, cheers, man. <clears throat> To our game. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Spends money like shit. A moment. Hey, hey. Wait a moment. That's Haluma. The only daughter of Ilonia business mogul Alaji Sadut Sina. God, talk about killing two birds with one stone. Hey, hey, hey. One bird. Let us concentrate on killing one bird. With a stone. <laughs> the two birds are ours. They do. They're very nice boys. Now, let the game begin. <laughs> Waiter. <laughs> what do they order for? <laughs> Send three glasses to the table, okay? The bill is on your purpose. Drink, I'll be right back.
Everything okay? Cool. Wait till we get there. We'll be starting to move there. And I'm going to play. Good. Step two. We move over to the table. Now, in the room, we turn the folder out to him. Meanwhile, maintain every eye contact you can have. I'm so sorry. I'm in the room. Oh, did you want them? Yes, doctors of the witch. They don't mind sharing as long as the guy is good enough. That's even better for you, because there comes a time to the world with a lot of cash and gifts. Just go, 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 I think we need help here. We've got a flat tire. Uh, 
Oh. You guys got a spare? Yeah. Uh, no, look girls. No point in doing all this menial work after a good evening out in like this. Let's drop you girls off. Tomorrow you can send the driver to pick the car up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where are you girls headed? Did you say? Let's take you home. No? Come on, man. Okay. Yeah, you're coming? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. It's a lazy girl, so. Make yourselves comfortable. You haven't been complaining. About what? About... Oh! Well, for the past six weeks I've been... I've been sick and bedridden and... Knowing my man, you should be complaining. What's wrong? I just see... I've not been thinking about it. It's just a thing of the mind. With you being ill and all, I, I've just been concentrating on you getting well. You know, instead of me thinking of all of that and saving money and getting as much money as I can, you know. Why did you ask? Nothing. I was, I was just bothered about you and the way you guard your mobile phones these days. You never let it lie around you. You go everywhere with it, even to the loo. And is everything okay? Yeah, everything is all right. I mean, um, you know, with you being ill and all, I don't, I don't want you being distracted by my calls or you struggling to reach out to my phone. You know, I know you can't get around as much as before, so I just don't want you distracted with my phone calls, that's all. I'm okay. I'm tired. Good night. Who's that? Um. It's a um, wrong number. It's not important. Go to sleep. Okay. Oh, God. Baby, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's a It's a wrong number. Hello? It's a wrong number. Okay, then switch it off. 
소리쳐. 